In this video, I want to introduce you to a brand new command that Midjourney Kate just came up with, and it's called the describe command. I've actually been waiting for a feature like this for quite some time, but I never thought it would come through inside of Midjourney itself. I thought it would come through with Google. Well, Google does have something like this, but it's not perfected like this is. And I was really, really, really surprised with the outcome. So what the describe command does is it allows you to take any image and upload that image onto the server and it will take that image and it will read the image and it will spit out a prompt that you can create other images from that image. So um, it just basically reads the image and tells you what that image is about. It's really, really cool how this works and I'm going to demonstrate it for you right now. So all you do is you put the forward slash and describe and I hit the tab and now it's telling me that to go ahead and upload a, a file upload an image so I'm going to go in and upload an image and this is just an image that I found on Pixabay I do believe now what I did with this image was I went ahead and renamed it to a series of numbers that way I can't say well it's reading the uh, file name and it's getting the description out of the file name so we could actually see that it's reading the image itself so I'm going to go ahead and press enter and it's sending the command it's thinking this doesn't take long at all and it gives you four outputs so as you can see email marketing with the world map in the style of dark yellow and pink code based creations dark black and dark Asia Sunderson Patnik computer aided manufacturing simple forms lines and this is really 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 similar to what's inside this image so now if you like the prompts what you can do is it gives you prompts and numbers one two three and four it always going to spit out four prompts here so down below the image you can click on one two three or four you can actually run those prompts right from these buttons so let's go ahead and do number three and it's going to bring up a prompt a, a box here all you have to do is click submit you can make changes to it as well but um i just click submit just click submit and it's going to create your image and you can do that for any of them so i'm going to go ahead and do one and i'm also going to do well let's just do them all just to see what they spit out. So I'm going to go ahead and do all of them. And it's going to take uh, just a few minutes for this to do. I'm going to let it do its thing. And I'm going to pause this video and I'll be right back. Okay, so it is done processing these images. So as you can see, it's come up with uh, envelopes for email. And the colors is an interesting choice. The colors really don't match what's up here. Uh, the blues and the, the yellows, it's somehow put purples in there, I've noticed. But it still looks cool either way. Um, the, the next one down here shows uh, basically just a world and not very much email. It just shows a connecting globe. Uh, the next one down is the one I like the best. And it is uh, pretty much showing email going through the internet. And these are really good representations and really good color choices. Um, I really, really like these. these this could be uh, really good for wallpapers, computer wallpapers. And the next one down really doesn't, doesn't do a good job except the one in the upper right-hand corner of a, an email. So let's go ahead and do another one here. And describe, tab, and... I've actually made this image with Midjourney uh, before, and I want to see how well it does on this image. So let's go ahead and hit enter, and it's going to bring up our commands, our prompts. And here's our prompts. Once again, we'll just do all four of them just to see how well it depicts this image. Okay, so those are finished. And this was the original image. Here's the first image that uh, it's come up, come up with. And it's pretty much come up with just a helmet. It doesn't come up with anything over her eyes, like not even sunglasses or anything. Um, 
This one here was the one that I liked the most out of all of them because it got it got uh, more towards the original image. As you can see in this top left one here, it's got the the sunglasses or glasses over top her eyes. Uh, but they're all really good images, and uh, this was the style of an oil portrait. Um, this one really, I wasn't really too impressed with because it doesn't even have a, a hat, a helmet, or anything else on that. And uh, this one, I, I like this one as well, just the fact that uh, the backgrounds uh, were cool on them. So if you're into real, if you're into sci-fi stuff, you might like this one as well. So this is just to demonstrate what you can do with the describe feature. I'm thinking that the describe feature is going to get better as time goes on. This is just a, just a first rollout on it. And uh, people are putting feedback on here all the time. So um, hopefully that you enjoy playing around with this and you know you can don't forget you can uh, change your prompts you can change your prompts because when you put this up you can change your prompt in any way that you want if it doesn't get it exactly right so i hope you have found this video helpful to you if you did please give it a like below also subscribe to the channel i'm going to be having more mid-journey videos here in the near future so i thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video